Josiah here with easycaters.com. Um, just want to walk you through the newly revised uh, Easy Caters Timelines Indicator. Uh, and what this does, you can see on the screen in front of you, it plots vertical lines at the, whatever times you choose throughout the day. Uh, there are 21 possible lines that you can plot. You can turn any of them on or off at will. Um, you can set the line style, the line color, what time the line shows up. You can also add um, labels, uh, text labels to each line. So for instance, if I wanted to say uh, market open on one, I would just type that in for line one and you can see it shows up here as market open. Um, and you can do that for each. You can add a label for each one. You can say maybe maybe you take lunch at 11 and you want to uh, say lunch time on the line and back from lunch on another line or something like that. You can uh, put whatever labels you want on there. Uh, another way that you can use this is you can actually use it on a lower study. So say I add the MACD to the lower graph here. Well, I can drag my timelines down onto that graph and plot the lines on the uh, subgraph indicator as well. Uh, you can also add two copies of the timelines, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, if, if you add it to both the top price graph and the lower graph, then you'll have both uh, areas plotted with those lines. So uh, I wanted to show you quickly how to install it. And uh, when you purchase this indicator, you're going to receive from us a special Thinkorswim sharing link that allows you to download it from the Thinkorswim server onto your platform. And so you'll just go up into the setup menu in the top right corner here, click open shared item, and you'll paste in that link there. Um, and then you'll hit preview. Uh, this is just a dummy script that uh, I created here, this, this link. It doesn't actually include the indicator, but uh, I just wanted to show you how this works. And then you would uh, click open. It says it'll give you a chance to rename it. And then you can uh, rename it anything that you want. Um, just give it a name that you'll recognize, because if you don't remember to click rename, then it's going to show up under from easy caters or something like, you know, an automatic name that gets given to it uh, by Thinkorswim server. So just give it a name you'll recognize. And then when you go in here into the edit studies menu, you type in that name and mine is called easy timelines. And uh, so I would just double click it and add it to my chart. So that's how you install it. Uh, you install it through that pasting the link up there. That brings it into your list of studies. Then you go into studies, find the name that you gave it, and double click it to add it to your chart. Now to change the settings, uh, we, we can double click on the added item here, the added uh, indicator. And so you can uh, see all the different settings here. Each setting has a tool tip to kind of give you a hint as to what it does. Uh, I've started adding these to all the indicators on the site to try to make things easier for users. And so you can uh, turn all the labels on or off with one button there, one selection. Um, and uh, you can uh, tell it to show today only. So as you can see here, it's only showing lines on today's price action on this intraday chart, which, by the way, this does only work on intraday charts, not on them. Um, uh, daily and above charts. Um, but so now I've turned the show today only setting to no. And so now it's plotting the lines on every single day that's uh, loaded on the chart here. Um, you can also turn alerts on or off with one setting. All of them will be enabled as soon as you turn that to yes. And so every time one of these lines appears, it will start chiming at you and it will show a message up here in Message Center letting you know that that time has arrived. If you deactivate any of these lines, uh, you won't get the alert. And if you deactivate any of these individual alerts for the lines, then you won't get that alert either. So say here, I don't want the alert for line one. You just go to alert one and uncheck this enabled box and that would turn off that specific alert while leaving all the other alerts on. 
but if you want to turn them all on or off at one time, you use this setting up here. Now down here, you can set the actual times. You're going to specify these in Eastern time zone. Um, so by default, they're set to every 20 minutes, 30, uh, you know, 930 uh, would be the market open Eastern time, 950 would be 20 minutes later and so forth. And so you can see you can specify all the times there. You're going to want to specify these without any kind of separator or divider between the minutes and hours. Uh, this is how Thinkorswim uses uh, times. And you're also going to want to specify them in, in uh, military time. So 1300 means 1 o'clock and 1400 means 2 o'clock and 1500 is 3 and 1600 is 4 and so forth. So that's how you enter the times. No, you know, colon or separator or anything. Just a, a 24 hour time, military time format in Eastern time zone. Uh, so that's how you specify all the times. You can change each individual line all the way up through line, line 21. And then you have each individual label. And I showed you already how to change one of those. So I probably won't need to go over that again, but you can specify individual labels for each of these. And they'll always show up here at the bottom of the screen. Um, that's just how Thinkorswim shows those labels. Uh, there's not really an option to put them at the top or anything like that. It's just at the bottom. That's how Thinkorswim does it. Uh, and then you can turn any of the lines on or off with these selectors right here. So lines 1 through 22, you can just turn them all on or off by changing this from yes to no. Then down here, you've got styles for each one. So say I want a solid line for, you know, maybe it's a more important time of the day for me. Well, I can turn that to solid so it'll stand out a little bit stronger. And uh, you can do that. You can change it for any, you know, to whatever you want for any of these lines. Um, so that is all the settings up here. Now you can also individually change the colors. Uh, these are all, uh, you know, again, you just change line one would be the first line over here. And so it, you see it changed to pink. Um, if we you know, change one of them to orange or something like that, you can see what that does. So there you go. That's how you change all of those. And that also changes the label color as well. So if I have a market open typed in in here, um, I'll just say reversal time for one of these. You can see it colors the label that color as well. So that's kind of a quick walkthrough of the timelines indicator. Um, hopefully that covers everything for you. If you have any questions, of course, we're always here to answer those via email. Um, but otherwise, we appreciate your business and uh, thank you for stopping by the website and uh, we'll talk to you next time. Thanks.